Hi guys, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity, and I'm here in Silhouette Studio with you today. And we're going to be working on a cut file that I'm going to be using on a card. And I'll be sharing that card on my blog, sayitwithsimplicity.com. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I like to do Silhouette Studio tutorials. I've done a little bit with Adobe Illustrator. I've also done a little bit with Cricut. I have an Etsy shop where I sell some of my designs. I'm working on an Etsy shop where I will be selling some physical products. And I just generally love to create with my cutting machines. I have a Silhouette Cameo 3. I also have a new Silhouette Cameo 4 and I have a Cricut Maker. And I enjoy using all of these machines for different things. I like to create shirts. I like to create um, cards. I like to create wood crafts. And so um, they do get used. So I am here in Silhouette Studio and I have this little idea that I kind of um, put together and this is sort of a little slim card that um, is sort of popular right now. I'm not sure of the exact sizes that a lot of the people are using but mine is going to be three and a half by five and a half inches long and I'm kind of just um, used some shapes here to give you an idea what this will look like. I have an Echo Park um, spring paper pack that uh, I think it's called Spring Fling that has some pattern papers that I'm going to be using that I think are really cute and so I have my card front here. I will be using a pattern paper that has uh, roughly this color. Um, this is one and a half by five and a half. I have a little strip of yellow that I'm going to be using and then I've created or this is actually from a uh, a font that I had purchased from Creative Fabrica. It's called, I believe, Butter and Garlic Bonus. Yes. And um, I used the one of the, the little elements from that to make this little branch for my bird. And I think I'm going to give him like a little element here, uh, like maybe an envelope that he's delivering. And um, probably stamp a little hello on there with a stamp that I have and um, of course this little bird and now this is a layered image and this is what we are going to be making today and all of these other elements I probably wouldn't cut these out with my silhouette you certainly could especially if you wanted to put a whole bunch of them together and get them cut out easily I kind of tend to like to cut with um, you know, I have a tonic cutter that I recently acquired and I, I kind of like that. And sometimes I even just, you know, get out a rotary cutter and cut out some of these pieces. That may seem a little bit strange, but whatever works for you. Um, a, having a good paper trimmer though is really um, a nice thing to have. And I'll drop a link to the one that I have. Um, in the description box below. So if you've been with me for a while, you know that I like to create little images. And so we're going to get started here with our little bird. And I hope that this is helpful to you. I always like to incorporate a few skills into these videos so that they will help you with some of your future work in Silhouette Studio. Now one of the things I want to point out is that I will be working in a multiple panel tools mode here today. Let's see. Um, if you go to the defaults and I went to this little gear icon, I opened the preferences panel. I'm here at defaults and you have the different options here of flexible panel mode, single panel mode, and this is what most people see is the single panel mode, but I opened up this multiple panel mode and I'll kind of tell you why here in a little bit. 
But, um, well, I guess I could tell you now that for this reason, I'll be able to have the point editing panel and the modify panel open at the same time. Now I could go up to my quick access toolbar and I could do a lot of the things that I'm going to do but I just wanted to share with you how this option is open to you and you can go in here and change it anytime you want. So I'm going to click on OK and I will be able to use that multiple panel option as I'm working here. So for my bird I kind of kept this pretty simple. There's probably other ways that you could do this but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a circle. Now I've already selected pink. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'll just make this fairly good size. Um, you can resize for whatever you want to have your element size be when you get done for your card, for your tag, whatever it happens to be. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to double click and that is going to bring up that point editing panel. And then I'm also going to go over here and I'm going to open up whoops, my modify panel and I'm just going to kind of dock it down here. Now I know my cute little card is all covered up here but that's okay because we have another picture of our bird over here. Now, some of you have probably seen my video on how to draw a heart in Silhouette Studio and know that you can grab these edit points and you can move them around. So when I go into that point editing mode, I can turn it, click off of it, and I can actually select and I can also hit my A button on my keyboard and I can grab these points now and I can move them around. So that's kind of fun, right? So now I brought this down to sort of a flat, almost a little bit indented right here. And now I'm going to click on this right one. This is his tail over here. I want his tail to be a little bit more pointed, so I'm going to come down grab this handle and just bring one of these down and this is going to wiggle a little bit on you that's okay that's my fault I could have clicked on corner here and that would have made those operate separately but that's all right um, now I'm just going to grab the end of this handle and just twist this up Now you can make your bird look any way you want. So in just manipulating these handles, I've changed the shape of that circle into something that looks a little bit more like a bird shape. Now I'm going to go here to the line tools and you have this one that's um, draw a curve shape. Now what happens with this is you drop some points in here and eventually you can connect them all up into a shape. So let's do that with this. I'm going to kind of start in the oh, middle to end of his back here. Go off the end of his tail, come back in slightly, and then go over here. And now that doesn't look like this, does it? But we'll go back into that point editing mode. We'll click on corner. We'll grab this one now and we'll just manipulate these points around. We want it to kind of follow that curve of his back 
And again, this is your bird, so you can make it look like you want it to. And now I'm going to select all of this. And here's my Modify panel right next to me. I can click Weld. And now our bird has a tail. Let's go ahead and make the beak. You could use the polygon tool for this, make a triangle. But let's just go ahead and grab that, um, make a curve, sh uh, let's make a polygon with this drawing tool. And that one works like this where you can just drop in points. And we're just going to make a little triangle beak. And that looks a little long to me, so I can point edit that if I want. Again, I can select all of that and weld. And there I have my basic bird shape. And that didn't take too long. But I would like my bird to have a wing, so I'm going to, let's see, let's grab an ellipse again. I'm just going to kind of drag it out here. And we're going to go into that point editing mode. And I'm going to delete this point and this point. I'm going to hold down the shift key and click delete point. I'm going to select this point and I'm going to drag these handles up until I get a nice kind of rounded look at the end of this, sort of a teardrop on its side shape. And then I'm going to select this point. I'm going to click corner, which makes these handles move separately. And I'm just going to curve this one in a little bit. And again, you can just sort of manipulate these and make them look how you want. Maybe I'll bring this in just slightly. And that doesn't look too bad. Let's just kind of show that off with a different color. And now I can bring that down and fit it onto my bird. Now I want my bird to be layered and I want he or she to have an eye. And I'm going to grab an ellipse tool and I'm going to just make a little eye. I'm going to hold down the shift key which is going to give me a perfect circle. Whatever size you want here. That's about a quarter of an inch. It'll be smaller for my project. I want to be able to see it here. And I'm just going to place that. And I'm going to make a copy of this by holding down Alt and dragging that away. And then I'm going to grab my ellipse and my bird by holding down my shift key and I'm going to go subtract and now that like punches out or um, takes away that part of the image so that um, that will cut out 
when I go to my send panel, you can see that that will be cut out. And let's turn this one black or navy or something. That's not quite navy, but that's okay. Let's align these, send this one to the back, and then we can put our wing on. And there's our cut file already for resizing and cutting out and using on any project that we have in mind for it. It's one of those things that if you continue to practice using some of these techniques in Silhouette Studio, pretty soon you'll be creating new files on your own and finding more and more ways to use some of these tools in Silhouette Studio. I always appreciate the comments that you guys leave behind. It always helps me to know what sort of things that you would like to learn and what sort of things to offer in future videos. It's been a pleasure to share this video with you today. I hope that you will stop by my channel again. If you like what you see here, I invite you to subscribe and click that bell notification so that you get a notification of new videos when they come out. I also invite you to check out my blog, sayitwithsimplicity.com, where I share some of my craft projects. And again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye now!